I've been witnessing some interesting behavior from a nuthatch pair I've known for four years, and I thought you guys may enjoy hearing about it. Before I get into the meat of it, I do feel it necessary to give a backstory, so bear with me a moment, and more importantly, enjoy. I met Hatch in March 2014. His mate at the time was Nutty. They were a pair and already adults. Nutty went missing in July 2015 after we had three days of a heavy rainstorm. She was nesting at the time. I think she died in the nest, but I'm not 100% certain. Hatch still holds the same territory that he did when he was with her. Immediately, Hatch started searching for a new mate. He'd call out with the loud yank yank call every day for a few days. He even left for a day and returned with a new female. This was in August, and they never did try mating. I figured that this new female patched Hatch's broken heart, so I named her Patch. Plus, it rhymed with Hatch and sounded cute. I got to know Patch over the fall and winter, and she ended up warming up to me. I missed my nutty, though, as she was the first nuthatch to ever trust me. Plus, she was very smart and just cool. If it weren't for her, Hatch likely would have never ended up trusting me. He was very wary. Spring of 2016 came and Hatch and Patch did great, raised a brood successfully. I even got to watch them nesting and met some of the youngsters. Last summer, 2017, there was a bumper crop of insects and was a great time for nesting birds. Four chickadee pairs I knew successfully raised two broods and so did Hatch and Patch. This isn't common. Normally, it is just one brood, not two. After that, Patch and Hatch remained together up until literally one week ago. I visit them every second day. Everything seemed very normal. I didn't see any new nut hatches. It was always just Hatch and Patch, as it's always been. When I came back two days after last seeing them on the 6th of March, there was something different and I was sure that I had seen Patch with two other nut hatches, but I couldn't confirm it. I did not see Hatch though. After an hour of seeing only Patch, I decided to look for Hatch. I eventually found him on the other side of his territory. It was brief and I thought nothing of it, so I went on home because it was getting late. Two days later, I visited again, but this time I unmistakably seen Patch with another male. Now I knew for sure that I did indeed see another male the other day when I was out. My heart sunk. I worried where Hatch may be and if he was okay. It was obvious that this new male must have driven Hatch out of his territory, claiming it and Patch as his. I went searching for Hatch, must have been two hours, right up until just before dusk but I couldn't find him. The next day, I was determined to find him, so I went out again, and luckily found him very quickly. But there was a bit of a war going on between him, Patch, the other male, and another female. This was the territory Hatch owned for the last four years, at the least. Now he is here, not very far from his original territory, and with a new female. When the dust settled and Patch and her new mate retreated back to their territory, I got to be with Hatch and his new mate. I discovered that Hatch was working on digging out a nest hole to impress this new female. Surprisingly, his new mate took to me very quickly, the quickest any bird has ever trusted me. At first, she would swoop at me, testing me, and then once she finally did get on my hand, she was good to go. I stayed a while watching them. The next day, I went out again to see how things were going, if they were able to hold this section of territory for themselves. It seems that they have. I found them in the same spot again, and the hole Hatch had been digging out was bigger. He gets quite excited around his new mate. I'm worried for Hatch, though. The new male obviously must be stronger than Hatch to have been successful with driving him out of his own territory. Hatch seemed fine all winter, healthy as usual, but I wonder if he is getting older, therefore not as strong. After all, he was already an adult when I met him four years ago, so how old is Hatch really? At the very least, he must be four to five years old. That's a good age for a bird like a nuthatch. Whatever the case, I hope he can pull through this year and enjoy it with his new and adorable little female. Hatch and Patch would have been together for three years this August. I had never seen anything like this before with any of the other nuthatches I've known over the years, 
But then again, Hatch is the longest I've known in Nuthatch. As for Patch and her new mate, I've been visiting them too, but her mate is very wary of me. Total opposite from Hatch's new mate. Another thing I wonder, are these two born last year and siblings? Maybe went searching for mates together? Or were they a pair and ended up swapping with Hatch and Patch, like swapping mates? I guess this also means that red-breasted nuthatches don't always mate for life. They may mate for many years, but not necessarily till death do us part. Always learning something new. And you know, that's the incredible thing with knowing these birds as individuals, being able to tell them apart and naming them. I get a better understanding of the lives of these birds. I want to say one more thing only because people have asked me. It's unrelated to nuthatches and is about blue jays. I made a video a month ago called Blue Jay Relationship Drama. I will link it up in the right hand corner. I mentioned how I watched Hermoso all winter trying to protect Abby from another male named Feisty Jay. Well, I'm happy to say that Feisty Jay has been preoccupied with other female jays now, searching for a new mate, and has left Hermoso and Abby alone. Hermoso is very happy. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think of this nuthatch relationship drama. If you have any questions or want clarification on anything I went over. If you enjoyed the video, help me out by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and happy birding!